Hey, how you doing, everybody? It's Distinguished Ruffian Mitch. We're at Smoke Inn in Vero Beach, one of Traverse Shops. Great place to stop at if you're ever in town. On today's episode of DRTV, we're lucky enough to have Jose Blanco stop with us for, for a little while and have a conversation. Thanks for uh, taking hey, the Mitch. time. It's always a pleasure. How are you? Not bad at all. So tell me a little bit about your experience in the uh, the cigar industry. <laughs> well, do we have enough time for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like uh, first of all, thanks for the uh, for the invite. And yes, we're here with uh, with Trevor at Smoke in Vero. I mean. Uh, Great turnout today, and uh, look, uh, I've been smoking for 51 years. My great grandfather grew tobacco, my grandfather grew tobacco, my father grew tobacco, all my cousins grew tobacco. I've been in the industry many, many years. I started smoking at the age of uh, actually at 14, but my father caught me. He said, You're going to officially smoke at, uh, at 16, but that didn't stop me. Uh, from smoking. So on the summers I would go to uh, my uncle, that's Hochi Blanco's father, to the factory, to the fields. I would go to my father's farms, learn about that. At a young age I started to uh, blend little cigars. At that time, for the first time, Piloto Cubano had come to the Dominican Republic because basically everything that we were using there was Indonesian wrappers, uh, olor, or a criollo that we had. So, you know, as the years went by, you know, finished high school, started to work, kept on smoking different cigars. At that time, it was basically, I would say, 80% Dominican, 20% Cubans. At that time, Nicaragua was not that big, or Honduras. And then, uh, you know, I fell in love with the uh, with the industry for years. Then I was, I worked for Grupo Leon Jimenez 30 years. I worked for La Aurora. I was sales director, one of their master blenders. Then I retired, got bored, uh, went to work for Hoyo de Nicaragua uh, for two years as their senior vice president. Then I took a little time off and I started with my wife, uh, Senoria Letreya, going to work in the, uh, the FDA, even though we still have 200 some accounts here. And, uh, she sells in about seven or eight countries in Europe. And in November of last year, uh, I started to work with Ernesto Perez Carrillo, which is a very long time friend. We've been friends with Ernie uh, for 20 years, so I continue to do what I've been doing all my life. That's yeah, fantastic. What's some of your favorite things about the cigar industry? To be honest, first of all, the people. I always said that this is the greatest industry in the world because you're not judged by the color of your skin, your religious beliefs, or if you're smoking a $2 bundle or a $50 cigar. Everybody respects everybody, and uh, it's just a great industry. Yeah, that's uh, definitely something that we've noticed as well. Uh, it's part of the enjoyment we get out of the, the social club that we have, too, is that everybody comes together as a family. Um, what's some of your favorite areas that you've been to uh, because of the cigar industry? Oh, well, I've traveled all over the world. I've done blending seminars in uh, Hong Kong, Shanghai, uh, Thailand, uh, Latvia, Finland, uh, Sweden, Germany, Spain, Mexico, Argentina, all over the States, Canada. I mean, I've been all over the world. That's the part that I like very much to do the blending seminars. Right, very nice. Now, the, the blending seminars you do fairly regularly, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I already uh, did one last night. Uh, I will be doing, I'm booked till June, about the 30th of June, I'm booked week after week doing uh, seminars. I'm going to do five in California, first week of, uh, of May, I'll do in Arizona five, second week of May, then I'll be in Ohio, in that area. I'm doing four there, then I'll be doing four uh, at the end of May in, uh, in Chicago and uh, uh, also in Milwaukee. Then I get back on a Saturday night and then on Sunday morning, uh, Sunday afternoon, I hop on the plane to go to Switzerland and do five events there. So it goes on and on and on. And on. But I love it. Excellent. What, uh, what sort of experience can people expect from one of the blending seminars? Well, first, the blending seminar. It's a cigar that I bring that has five different wrappers, but you only smoke four. So what happens is that 
I ask individually, everybody one by one, uh, what are you, what characteristics you're picking out on the first drop, the second, the third, the fourth, then I ask them what country you think uh, the country of origin is and also uh, what type of seed. Then we talk about fermentation, we talk about curing, we talk about aging, we talk about all the process of making cigars. We talk about all the misconceptions that people have, and the simplest thing is that people tend to confuse flavor with strength. Very nice. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be a great time. Some people should uh, definitely keep an eye on it. Oh, no, definitely. We had, like last night, we had it uh, smoking in uh, Wellington. We had 40, 40 guys there. We limited it to 40 people last night. Well, that makes sense. That way. <laughs> Get more of a one-on-one. -on -one oh yeah, one-on-one. -on -one. It's not it. a PowerPoint presentation. Everything. I interact with everybody, and I also let it, uh, people ask me uh, any types of questions. Fair enough. Nice. Uh, anything else in particular that you want to mention while we got you here? So the first thing is that I would say to people is. Uh, uh, Support uh, our industry by becoming a member of the CRA. When the stores have a petition for you to write to your uh, senator or your congressman, whether it's a U.S. Uh, senator or congressman, sign the petition, fight for your rights. Smoking is uh, not about health, it's, uh, it's about rights. If you can die for your country at 18, you should be allowed to smoke and drink at 18. I totally agree. Um, is there anything else in particular that, that you want to mention? No, the only thing I said, you know, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, I, it's always great to be on, uh, you know, uh, talking with uh, different groups. And uh, you guys are passionate about it. I've seen you guys all around. Unfortunately, because of all my activities, I haven't been able to interact. But it's not that I don't know about uh, the group. Yeah. And, uh, you know, keep up the good work. It's good for... For people to follow, follow you guys, follow the education, follow the interviews, try to get as much people, you know, even if for eight or ten minutes, you know, asking questions, because your followers are like that, and, and that's important to be able to, uh, to interact. I appreciate you taking your time with Thanks. us today. It's Always a pleasure. a pleasure to be with the Bluefields. <laughs> I greatly appreciate it. Well, this is Distinguished Ruffy and Mitch again here at Smoking and Vero. We got Jose Blanco. Very nice to be able to sit down and talk with us for a little bit. Off to the side, we got Distinguished Ruffy and Rogan. Get in here and say hello. What's up, Ruffy? He's with us today. He's the muscle in the group. <laughs> so, always a good time. Another great episode. Hope to see you guys soon.